Previously on Onboard Lifestyle, Emma finishes up her ortho treatment and her smile says it all. Yeah, I think it looks great. Okay, yep. So did you do these? Yeah. These are a little, little t difficult, what Charlie said, huh? They were tricky. We picked up our new helm top posts, installed them, and our new cover slid right into place. We could not be happier with how it looks. Lynn's stack pack was installed, along with our new Lazy Jack system. The girls scrubbed up the aging dinghy just in time to hear this. We need to get out of here, out to a nice anchorage, and really see how these new lithium batteries perform. Did you hear me, Lynn? I heard you. We're going today? Today? I want to go this morning. Let's go now. <laughs> you didn't tell me. Just let me wash my face, and then we can go. So we left Richmond to give our new lithium batteries a shakedown. We dropped the hook in Paradise Cove for a blustery week and learned so much about our new system. As, we it, have power. as it stands right now, yeah, we could be off grid indefinitely. That is Good cool. That. I mean, smiles on our face. Well, here comes the wind again. Here we go. So cheers to more power. Well, last week was pretty eventful, to say the least. Uh, we spent the week before that at Anchor to just kind of test out our systems and trying to see how long we can be off grid without having to come in. It was it was really fun. I slept really well. The only downside was that I didn't catch any fish, but I will next time. Yes, Emma, we all slept so well at Anchors and we feel really good about the performance of our lithiums. So after that, we got a notification for Emma's second shot. Yep. So we headed over to Berkeley and it gave us a great opportunity to schedule our first patron meetup. Yeah, that in was, person. That was great. That was so much fun. It was nice to finally meet the people in this area and we plan on doing that a lot more as we go down the coast especially since i get new taste testers because i get the opportunity to cook more, for more than emma and teal yeah so that was fun so we provisioned and we were s uh, scheduled to leave that next day we yeah. were sailing towards the gate <laughs> This happens. What happened, Teal? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happened. Well, our steering failed again. Pretty discouraged, aren't you? A little bit. Me too. This, I tell you what, I have zero faith in that pump now. Well, it is really old. And we're trying to salvage and use what we can. Is it? Are we getting close to those boats? No, I'm watching. We're okay. It's actually, it's really calm right now. So we're just kind of drifting. Okay. So what happened was we're sailing over uh, from Berkeley. And, you know, we had a little stiff wind. It was nice. We had the jib flying. We're scooting along. Get behind the lee of Angel Island. And so we go into irons and we're going to raise the main. Lynn cranks the helm over hard and it locks. Same problem we had. Same I feel problem like we I curse I curse the steering because every single time oh. it seems like I'm at the helm. And it's, I don't think it's my fault. Are the how are the boats? Are we getting close to them? No, no, we're good. So we're drifting. It's pretty calm behind the island right now. Uh, it was good timing, I guess, <laughs> for this to happen. I'm sure glad this happened here rather than out to sea. Our plan was to head out under the gate tomorrow morning. Um, We're just going to have to make some choices I know. because either we fix this again well, and fingers crossed that it works um, and it doesn't fail anymore or I don't know. I'll have this done in about 15 minutes. Let's go over and drop a hook in paradise and just kind of think about things. Okay. Okay. We spent the next day at Paradise Cove near Tiburon, and Lynn was able to source a new Capilano 1250V helm pump located in Florida. The unit shipped out and was en route to Richmond, so the next morning we pulled anchor and sailed off the hook.
So I'm at the tail end of the install of the brand new helm pump. And I'm glad we went with a new pump. When I was breaking the old pump out, I was gonna reuse all the fittings. So I started breaking all those down and there was a lot of debris from who knows when, 25, 30 years ago. There was sealant and Teflon tape and debris inside of those fittings. You know, that may have been the, the culprit to all of our problems, who knows? I guess we'll find out later. So I went and put all new fittings on this helm pump, installed the unit. We're just getting ready to uh, button up the last few things and bleed the system and put the helm back on. But that old pump, we're not gonna throw it away. When we get down to San Diego, we'll uh, send it in for service. They'll be able to tell us what really happened with that and get it in tip top shape so we have a backup pump. I don't want this happening again. Boy, when that helm locks up, we're usually in a situation where we're under full sail or trying to anchor or you know coming up to a, a situation where you you really need steering no fun so having a brand new helm pump gives us a lot more confidence especially since uh, we're starting to work on the autopilot gonna have that up and up and going here real soon and with the new pump I'll feel much better about it I could do this with my eyes closed now broke the system now so many times routine. Feels good. Uh, the new helm pump is in. That finishes off replacing every component of our steering system. We have a new cylinder, new lines, new fittings. We have a new helm pump, new helm. <laughs> every single thing with exception of one little thing. <laughs> Which is the little deck fill cap. We are. But we're gonna we're gonna keep that for sentimental reasons, right? <laughs> we are. We talked about our uh, steering situation. That's been resolved. We got our new pump in, as you know, and I feel good about it. We always feel good about it. <laughs> anyway, so the other few things that happened around the same time was I had a dental emergency that had to be taken care of before we left. And on top of that, we got a call about Teal's grandma and another family member that was having some health issues. And you know that saying, when it rains, it pours? Well, it poured hard. And it gave us a, kind of a reset, kind of, you know, we were, we've were we been running around, working on the boat and trying to get videos out and, and travel. We were all set to uh, just head out and go south, but everything just kind of dominoed at the same time. And we knew that uh, the smartest thing for us to do was just kind of just hold tight, get these issues resolved, and just take a, a, a short break. And that was, it was the right thing to do for I us. I think so. It was, it, it gave us a chance to kind of clear our minds. And on top of that, we were planning on being down in Southern California in June. <laughs> <laughs> the guard dog. <laughs> You, okay, you got it. Okay. You got okay. it. It's okay. <laughs> Always the protector, this guy. Um, on top of that, how okay, is it's okay? It's okay. Uh, come here, buddy. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh, that's in my face. <laughs> On top of that, we were, um, the original plan was being down in Southern California um, by mid, late June um, because we were having a little family reunion on my side. I haven't seen my parents and my family in almost two years. Yeah, it's been a long time. So because of that, it would have made us rush down the coast instead of leisurely going down and kind of stopping at the ports that we well, wanted to stop at. Rush down the coast with no steering. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, so we decided to just take a little road trip down to Southern California to see them, and we just got back. It was so much fun to see everybody. Yeah, it was super fun to see my cousins. We had lots of fun. The trip to Southern California was awesome. Spending time with family was long over too. We went to Universal Studios, had so much fun. We actually broke a few of the rides. 
up in the air for me. Hands up in the air. Left foot over here. Hands up, hands up, hands up. There we go. Again. We spent almost a week swimming, eating, bowling, singing, eating, and catching up with family. Did I mention eating? It was super fun. And we, awesome. we ate a lot and we slept very little. And, so. and I'm sure there's a few videos of me singing some awful karaoke songs. It was a successful trip. It was great to see family, and um, oh, we plan I, on doing that again. I want to give a shout out to uh, Jay and Priscilla, oh, gosh. They, who are patrons as well, and they were so kind to lend us their car so that we can drive down to see them. So thank it, you so much, you guys. It ran smooth. <laughs> so what are our plans? Well, our plans are now the boat. We've uh, actually done a couple projects during this time. We've done oil changes. We've done gear loop changes on the sail drives. We've done some changed basic maintenance. We, we've changed belts and everything. Steering's going. Everything seems uh, the mechanically the boat is ready to go. Uh, mentally, I feel like that break was what we needed to get going. We are heading out of here tomorrow. <laughs> everything looks good for us to head south. So we're gonna leave Richmond and probably go camp out in Sausalito to one night and head out one under night. just one night in Sausalito because I want to ride the tides uh, going out under the Golden Gate Bridge and heading south. Our first stop will be Half Moon Bay and we'll do that uh, that that evening so that's uh, after that we'll be watching weather and exploring and but our our long-term goal is to keep moving now. The summer is uh, just starting and we want to make sure that we're taking full advantage of uh, every attraction we can from uh, from here on south. And, and get some fishing in. Get fishing in and just start enjoying uh, traveling again. It's uh, it's time. We're, yeah. we're long overdue and... After all this time of working on the boat, we're getting to that position where we can really experience um, our surroundings and, and just kind of... To start, I don't know, having fun. We've been itching for this and, and uh, we deserve it, I think. Yes. Departure day. Are you excited? <laughs> Decided. Oh my gosh, yes. Are you set? I think so. We have a, our checklist. Everything's stowed? Everything's stowed. We're not going that far, but. I know, but it's still. I know. Routine. Gotta get those routines down. Making it comfy for everyone. I can't wait to get into areas where we don't have to deal with dew. I know. Soon. A couple weeks, I think. Yeah.
left Richmond yesterday morning. You know, had a nice little trip. Just went a few miles over to Paradise Cove. We wanted to stop there because it was such a beautiful day. 77 degrees, just beautiful, beautiful. We dropped the hook and just enjoyed ourselves. Just, it was nice to relax for a little bit. But on the way over there, uh, we noticed that when we left the marina, our starboard engine was running quite a bit warmer than it should. And I have a feeling I know why. You know, I checked the sea strainer, it was clear. I pulled the impeller, it was perfect. You know, I could see the water flowing through the engine, but it was still running warm. That leaves one thing, these systems aren't very complicated, there's just a few parts to them. The last thing to check is the heat exchanger. You know, this marina we're in, that we were in, had a lot of growth. We noticed that if you dropped a fender in the water for a day or two, you'd get growth on it. So I'm suspecting there's growth in that heat exchanger. So we pull him to Sausalito, because this is gonna be the last stop before uh, we hit the, the high seas and heading south for us to get parts. Gonna walk over to West Marine. It's just a, I don't know, close to a mile from the where I left the dinghy. And I'm gonna pick up some barnacle buster or barnacle blaster. Anyway, it's designed to clear out those heat exchangers. So off I go. Little walking trip. Get some barnacle blaster. Buster. Today was supposed to be departure day and Basic had other ideas for us. Apparently she is not ready to leave the Bay Area just yet. I'm sure Teal let you guys know that as we were leaving uh, we noticed that our starboard engine uh, temperature started having some issues. So obviously we killed that down and so we took a little detour to Richardson Bay and Teal is now down below trying to get that address before we head out. It's kind of funny. When things like this happen, I don't really, I don't stress too much about it because I know that Teal is going to be able to fix it. He's pretty good about that kind of stuff. It's nice to have uh, him around. Pretty handy guy. Um, but you know, it's uh, when life gives you lemons, make another cup of coffee. We're on, I'm on my second one now and uh, we're warming up some scones that we got from our friends Denton and Chrissy before we headed out of Richmond which was really nice. So we're just gonna go with the flow and uh, hopefully we'll get this fixed and back out there again. I can't tell you how excited I am to get back out to sea sailing further south. So I'm gonna go check on Teal now because even if I can't help, at least I'm here for moral support to see if he needs anything. Well, this is a familiar position for you. <laughs> it's getting old. Okay, look at this. It's gonna work. Here's the idea. Ready? I'm ready. Got my bucket. Look down inside here. I've wired in a bilge pump. The idea is to put the barnacle buster solution in here. It pumps it up and it's gonna run reverse through the engine. It's gonna go into the heat exchanger on the top and then come back out the bottom. And we recirculate this for about four hours. And I'm hopeful this will work. I am too. I have no no doubt this will fix it. Okay. I'm if not, just do it again. <laughs> I'm almost ready here. I'm just a few minutes away from firing this up. Okay, here's the lead. I've uh, taken this fuse panel, put in my temporary line, put in a fuse, and this should start pumping. Hey, there it goes. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Look at that debris already. Let me see the, the flow's coming out. Yeah. 
Okay, time? 8.45. Four hours to go. Come on, Buster. Blast those barnacles. Well, we are two hours in to our flush. You know, reading the directions, it says at least an hour. I looked at some online tutorials, and if you have a lot of uh, debris coming out, up to four hours wouldn't hurt. But two hours is looking pretty good. We went from this kind of this Windex blue to this swampy green. So it's definitely uh, breaking something out of there. Everything's looking good. Went over the belts, tightened everything up while I was waiting. We'll get this emptied out, put a freshwater flush on this, and fire up and see how, see how she runs. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. After taking a much needed break, we are excited to get back to sharing our videos with you. If you like this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you to our amazing patrons who help make these videos possible. Join the crew if you can. Even though we hit a little snag on our engine, we are excited about our sail south towards Mexico. Come back next week to see another awesome new video. See you then!